So, we're about to hit the start button. We're about to start this thing. Start so. it up! First glitch. I'm gonna get all the guns and all the gun upgrades before I even start loading up the world. So, first glitch uses, it's called intro story glitch. So you start the intro story, and on the second frame, you exit the intro story, which basically messes up the data, like shuffles it around, and then the reason I have a second or a remote is because I'm gonna enter a Kong battle. Oh, I was wondering why you had stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna enter a Kong battle, and then what that's gonna do is it's gonna load up all the Kong battle items onto the, uh, onto this, onto this file. And what that'll do is, It'll basically give me all the guns, give me the highest power level of the ground pound, and a few other things. So, uh, since we're... Since you're, um, since the mic is moved, I'm actually gonna grab my headphones and just check the volume mixing since it's over there. Okay. Like, you're gonna be loud enough, I just think the game might be too quiet. Okay, so we're gonna start with the intro story. So you know it works when there's no music playing. And this takes a few effort. There it is. So then we wait. I'm supposed to wait 45 seconds from when that happens. Because what it's doing is now it's running through the intro story. So when it gets to the second scene of the intro story, that's when we want to do this glitch. So what's, what's supposed to happen is that 45 seconds it pulls you into the intro story. But by going into this, if I hit A again, by going into this, it will basically interrupt that. So I have a timer on my phone, it's at basically 30 seconds now. So once it gets to, I think, 47, 48 seconds, I'm going to enter this, and it'll, then it'll kick me out. Then I'll go over to the Kong battle, start a Kong battle thing, and then that'll load all the multiplayer items, and then the whole thing will start. So we're basically there, and that's about it. And there, see, it just pulls me right back out. Then I'm gonna load up the Kong battle stuff. Uh, enter the second control. It's not even gonna start a Kong battle, it's just gonna kick me right out of the Kong battle. Then I'm gonna end the intro story glitch just by going over here and clicking that and then entering on like the first frame. I actually just started the intro story glitch again. And now we have the music back in the background, so now we get to hit the fire. Chat, Jesse, is that what you're doing? What? I but, uh... Oh, it looks like you were. And there we go. Yeah. Now, if I did that correctly, and hopefully I did, if I did that correctly, I should have my gun and all the upgrades that come along with it. Hacks! <laughs> That's what this game is all about. Glitching around. And I don't have it, which is not... which is a problem, so uh, we're gonna have to <laughs> do that whole thing again. <laughs> So, oh, you just got a game over. Yeah, I know, I just exited the game. And apparently that means you lose. So, um, I might, I might actually have to, yeah, like, I might have to actually open up the, the save, like, before, Combat said, how are you, Pichu? I'm pretty good, actually. Yeah, so I'm gonna actually have to enter the game like when I start doing the glitch, which means I'm gonna have to do this really fast. So here we go. There we go. I'm gonna have to enter the world really quickly. Come on. I'm gonna have to get into here and then out of here within 45 seconds, which is, I. that's why I try not to do it this way because it's really hard to do it that fast. I don't think I'm gonna make it in time. You don't think you're gonna make it in time? I'm at 31 seconds. I have to do this by basically 48 seconds. And I'm not gonna get there in time. How do you know? I'm at 40 seconds. I have a timer on my phone right beside me. And I'm at, yeah, this is gonna pull me in. For the scene. And also you have the messed up uh, like music here. Come on, I'm getting so Sorry close. Pass. It's I'm at three seconds. No, it's not. It's, I'm not quite there yet. It would have pulled me in. I might have actually made it. Yep, it just pulled me out. That's good. Okay. 
that was really close. But now if I enter this, it'll load up all of the, uh, basically all of this stuff, the multiplayer item sets. It'll load that onto this save file. And then I can end the intro really quick. I think the reason it didn't work is because I entered the intro story glitch again, accidentally, <clears throat> on the first time. So now, I should have all that stuff. And actually, the timer the timer on the game is supposed to go up. Oh, come on, it's still not working. I might have to do it on the first save file. Uh, can you hit the reset button on the console? <laughs> first, I never had this much trouble with the first glitch. You said you practiced. I've practiced everything, but the first this the first glitch is supposed to be the easiest one. What? So I'm gonna have to. I think I have to actually delete the first save file, which is like the file that has the most, the like, most completion. Which that kind of sucks, but I thought you needed that file to be there for you to be able to. It has to have existed at one point. So like, as long as you have this much completion, wait, yeah. See, it's supposed to mess up the first game file, because before it had like, a ton of completion. So yeah, it, you ha it has to happen on the first game file, which means, sadly, I have to do that. What was on it? Was that the one with That was like the one with the, the most completion. That had 80%? Yeah. No, it said, it said 16 now. Yeah, that's because of the glitch I already did. Oh. So you just lost the- what? You should have copied it! You should have copied that same file! The co it, there's no copy option. What?! Yeah, so now this'll- this is gonna mess up all this stuff on the first save file. So, the re the way we know it works is- it, it says empty now. Uh, after I do this glitch, it'll say uh, it's not empty anymore, it'll say a few seconds in the game. If that happens, then we know that the glitches work. Anyways, the sound mixing is fine, but for some reason we- s it's every everything's really echoey. Huh. That's an issue. Just like a little echoey, like it sounds like you're in a big room. Oh. That's oh. All. That sucks. It's not, I'm not sure if we can do anything about that. Here. Put these on. Oh. And talk a little bit, and then you wait like 10 seconds and you'll hear yourself. Ah, uh, this is not working for me. Okay. Yeah, just talk, and then like... Listen. Okay. Yeah, I do hear the echo. It's gonna kick me out of here in a second. Hopefully. I'm waiting for it to kick me out. Is it not kicking me? This is so bad. Why is the beginning glitches not working? Anyways, I just wanted yeah. to see what it... We have a bad copy of the game. Yeah, this copy of the game is broken. You guys, it's Mr. Blue and Fun Guy. It's fine for you, right? Yeah, it sounds fine for you. Okay. I don't sound happy about what? Okay, here we go. Let's try oh. it again. Yeah, it's fine. Donkey. Donkey. As long, uh, once it doesn't say Donkey Kong when I get back in, then that's when I know it worked. There it is. Okay, if it doesn't work this time, <laughs> then I'm gonna have some words for this game. <laughs> some really mean words for this game. Yeah, I thought you practiced. This is the easiest glitch and it's not working for some reason. And you practiced, right? Yeah, I pra I've done this at least five times. <laughs> so now there's we just- no sound. Yeah, the, when there's no sound, that means that the intro story glitch worked. Why are you we just sitting here? Uh, yeah, we so have wait. to- we, I have to wait 45 seconds. Oh before this glitch will work. So right now, in the background of the game, the intro story is running. So when it gets the second scene, that's when I actually I have to do the glitch that loads the multiplayer item set. But you have to do it fast. So yeah, what I, uh, right, right now, I'm waiting for uh, basically the second scene to enter. So I, with my timer on my phone, it should kick me out. Yeah, it just kicked me out. That's when I know it worked. And then if I go over here to Kong Battle, now on the first game file, the multiplayer item sets are supposed to get loaded, and then I, I'm gonna end the intro story glitch by entering it again. Now we have the regular sound in the background, 
And the first get. Yep, there's a. There's now. There's five minutes in the first game. Five. Why is there five minutes with zero percent? That's basically. It was an empty file before, which means basically. Why is there five minutes? <laughs> so that's what the glitch did. It like messed up all the save files on the on the first game. So now, uh, I should have my gun. With uh, zooming in and zooming out. And that's what the first glitch. Now we can actually start the game. That's what the first glitch is supposed hey, to do. It only took you. Like three tries. It only took you like 20 minutes. Yeah, okay, now this. The rest of this should take maybe an hour and a half. And this is all like fun glitches messing around. Oh, everything you wanted to do? Yeah. Basically defeating the game. That was just. Defeating to... the game with the power <laughs> of hacks. Yes. So. Uh, first thing we have to do is we have to actually do the training barrels because one thing that's interesting if you don't defeat the training barrels For example the, the training barrel that teaches you how to use vines If you don't defeat that training barrel then any vines that are in the game won't appear They just won't appear. Yeah, they're just you'll see like hey you have to climb across these vines and you'll be like Oh, there's no vines there <laughs> And so I'm saying that because there is a way to actually skip the training barrels. There's a way to actually leave this area early, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, so then this, these training barrels just teach you how to play the game. It's pretty uh, a waste of time. <laughs> so uh, now uh, the, there's a glitch here I'm about to do. I'm not sure if this is a glitch or if it's meant to be in the game, but you rapid fire oranges. <laughs> so yeah, that's a thing. What were you supposed to do? You're supposed to just throw the oranges randomly, but that saves a lot more time. Then, in this place, I figured out that you can actually hold down B, so you're supposed to actually hit B, then hit B again to throw the barrel. If you just hold down B, you'll just grab the barrel from as far away as possible. And then, this barrel I'm gonna throw the tree to save time. That's just the thing. I'm basically doing like speedrunning tactics for this game without actually trying to break any world records. Good. You should speedrun this game for real. Well, I'm probably not gonna break any records because there's like one glitch in Angry Aztec which I can't get to work. I've tried so many times. I've really spent probably two hours worth trying to figure out how to do it and I've done it once successfully. I thought they got. I thought you don't have to do that one anymore. Yeah, I don't have to do that, but it helps. So now, you're expected to go back to Chunky's lab and he'll give you Simeon Slam. Chunky? Uh, no. <laughs> Cranky's lab? Chunky has a lab! <laughs> Chunky's locked up in a cage right now. Oh but instead gosh, I'm just I gonna just glitch so around a little bit. Better be nice words. Walls! What? Walls are great! Walls don't exist. Walls are great! Walls don't exist. A lot of things don't Mr. exist in this Blue game. Mr. Blue will live in Splatoon. Wait, did you just go through a wall? Yeah, yeah watch wall. the watch the live stream. I'll watch it, yeah. Oh yeah, you missed it. I went through a wall and no, then went I saw you swimming. You saw me swimming out of bounds. <laughs> which means basically I just went through the wall, then hit the loading zone, which let, lets me get out of this area. This game's busted. Uh, this is also a glitch you saw if you were here like the three weeks ago or whatever. This is another glitch you've seen. It was in, yeah, it's in the video on, uh, on YouTube. Uh... And then you just don't mind to... me. Just <laughs> if I can. Just a land it... shark. Don't mind me. <laughs> Where is the loading zone? Zoom Hello. In. Zoom in the camera. Oh yeah, there's the loading zone. No, no. We were just moonwalking. We please hit me. Hit the loading zone. Go, go. Hit, hit the loading zone. Please stop being, stop being poop. <laughs> stop being such a poop. Well, just hit the loading zone. It's not that hard. I think you're stuck. I think I'm sort of stuck. Hit the loading zone. What are you doing? This is so Create annoying. leg. Uh, oh, there we go. What? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> there it is. I hit the loading zone. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> uh, that's how we do it. Okay. And now this guy, this girl's gonna give me the power to do this ground slam. So I need 15 coins for each Kong, and that's what this does. So in order to actually beat the game, I need 16 coins for and I- this has- okay. Sometimes you can't get through- sometimes that door, like, it's meant for Tiny Kong, not Donkey Kong, so sometimes you can't get out of there. So I need three crystal coconuts in order to actually do this. So, uh, now we're gonna go to the next one, which is, uh, this- 
This guy over here is gonna like help you get through the game, but you're actually gonna only be in there like twice. Funbat says they need to update this game. Yeah, they can't do that because this game, like, internet didn't exist back then or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> the internet didn't exist. And so I'm not supposed. So there's actually something you can do with uh, those uh, telepads. You you can actually skip a cutscene using those telepads. Mr. Blue, but I do not eat calamari. I don't think so. Yeah, so this guy's is gonna just get all happy and open up a thing. So uh, he's gonna open up a gateway, and that gateway. <gasps> Please. Please. He's gonna open up a gateway. <laughs> And so in this gateway, there's a banana, and behind the banana, there's a loading zone. There's actually a way to hit the banana and the loading zone at the same time, to, so, which basically saves time from Donkey Kong doing his little dance. Usually, I don't try to do that glitch because, like, you'll go. Sometimes you'll hit the loading zone without grabbing the banana. That makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense. This game, a lot of things don't exist in this game, and a lot of things make no sense. This is a, I don't know, 1995 game. I don't even know how old this game is. Pretty old game. I'm pretty sure it's like the year 2000 or something. Yeah. 1998, 1999. 2000. And so, yeah, that's this, and now we're gonna go. I'm gonna go over here and. Uh, Liam's playing Toho music downstairs. Uh, so if I can, I can try the glitch. Yeah, it never works. <laughs> like literally, you'll see me. I barely even walk to hit the loading zone. So I was really close to hitting the loading zone there. Yeah. And then this is the only this guy. You have to have one banana to get through him. Then later on in the game, you only need five, and then fifteen, and then a hundred. This is the only guy I'm actually gonna go through with the actual proper amount of bananas. You're just gonna walk through walls instead. For the rest yeah, of <laughs> I'm gonna like break through the wall. Uh, also, I thought I turned I thought I turned off story skip. <laughs> yeah. But I guess not. So uh, we're gonna watch these cutscenes. Let's see how that fool Donkey Kong is progressing, shall we? That's right, my scaly friend. The ape hasn't even gotten his first banana yet. What? But you did. Ooh. What? How did you do that? How did you do that? Okay, very good, Donkey, but you'll need more than brute strength to stop me this time. <laughs> you know what's you know great? K King K. Roll is in the new Smash Bros. that's coming out. Yep. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, no, you mean DDD. Yeah, m no, yes. Okay. <laughs> no, yes. Uh, so now... Hey, it's wiggly top. <laughs> uh, so you're supposed to climb across some vines here, but I'm just gonna ignore the vines and go over here and, like, jump across. Why did you have to do those trainings, then, if you don't need vines? Well, I need vines later on, but you can basically just jump across this. You don't even have to ground slam on that plate. But, yeah, this is a thing. So, um... Remember how when I hit the the number, you know those number pads that like let you teleport? Yeah. When I hit the first one, Squawk comes down and tells me, hey, this is how to use these. So when you enter here, Diddy Kong gives you a little spiel about what's going on. If I hit that, it, it, if I hit that um, number, if that was the first number pad I hit, then it would interrupt this cutscene with Squawk coming down and it saves some time. But uh, I, for some reason, I didn't do that. I hit, the, I hit the number pad. In Why where did you hit the number pad? I hit the number pad on uh, in like where K Lumsey lives. Why? I don't know. I forgot. I wasn't thinking to the future. Uh, and so this is where uh, you're gonna see a few glitches, but this is where the um, getting the gun early on in the game is actually useful. Uh, so yeah. Um, also, just roll in the air. That's, that's a thing that can happen. <laughs> you gain momentum by rolling in the air. Sort of. Yeah. You got your banana, now you can just leave Diddy Kong forever. Yeah, but Diddy Kong needs you to save him. I need to actually save Diddy Kong now. Why didn't you just save him before you got the banana? Because you need to hit these buttons to save him, but you need to get the banana in order to hit these buttons. That doesn't make sense! Picking up banana makes buttons appear. Ha ha! Logic. Yes. What was exactly. that camera? This camera has terrible angles. Now I want to get up there. Oh yeah, you did this the other time. And it's so difficult. Sometimes it's so difficult. Physics. It's so difficult. Uh, it, reminds it only of, reminds me of Mario Galaxy. It only ever works when I jump from this. Sometimes it takes me like a million tries to get this to work. Can't you just shoot it from there? No, I need to, uh, there's, 
You see that dirt, the, the dirt patch that's on top of that hill? I have to actually go and like collect something from this dirt patch. Dirt patch? Dirt a patch. <laughs> dirt patch. Dirt. If I can actually get up there. Fumbat said, did you think, did you say you thought you turned story skip off? I thought I did, but I didn't. You mean on. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Oh man, this is so difficult. Yeah, uh, I'm. This is not supposed to be so difficult. So many things here. I've done this like on my first try so many times. Yeah, it's because I'm live streaming. Nothing works when you're streaming, is yeah, it? Yeah, that's the rule of. You know, that's how it works. If you're recording, things go wrong. You can practice it as much as you want, but as soon as you're recording. Uh, you want to jump more to the left because it looks like it's slightly, slightly more left. That was so close. You did this pretty quickly on. I did it like last on my time. second try last time. I also had tr I tr practiced this glitch yesterday and I had trouble doing it yesterday too. So, like this is possible. It looks like a, it's like basically this is as far as Donkey Kong can possibly ever jump. That that was that was yeah. I thought you got that. I thought I did too. DK, move yourself. There it is. That nice. took long enough. Now I just have to hit this thing. That's why I collected the three crystal coconuts. And Spock's gonna come down and explain what that was. Why does he always explain things to you? He didn't shoot it. Yeah, I have to shoot this now. You didn't shoot the one up there though. You yeah, now have to go back and shoot these. So the useful thing about having sniper sight is uh, something I'm about to show you. Usually, uh, to hit this switch, you're supposed to stand on that ledge to hit this switch. But instead of doing that, I can just hit it from here. And then if I wait to the right moment, I can hit both of them at this in basically the same effort. And then Diddy Kong save. And that's basically all I have to do in Jungle Jake. Now I get now I just go to the next level. <laughs> they couldn't use that before. <laughs> yeah. Like you're stuck in a cage. Oh yeah, you saved me and I'm just gonna teleport <laughs> out of the cage. Without even walking out of the cage. Like you could have even said that like you have to be out of the cage to get like to teleport. Yeah. So yeah, and I'm gonna go over here. Now basically when you get to the final boss. A ship appears right here, so you use the three pad and basically a ship appears right on this beach. So um, when I get to the end of the game, there's going to be a ship there. And so... you, uh, uh, Some of you have seen this, and some of you haven't. But uh, you're going to see one of those moon kicks again. Yeah, I don't know if one bad or Mr. Blue were there when you did these. And Je Jesse wasn't here. Yeah. You showed the video. Yeah, but this one's great. Have you seen this one? Probably not. This one's the best so one. first I have to do this, and then... This takes a couple tries to actually grab the ledge, but I pretty much consistently get the moon kick here now. <laughs> yeah, that's great. But sometimes I have trouble hitting the ledge. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, uh, this is like the hardest ledge to grab. <laughs> Whee! This is so entertaining. I said pretty much consistently get the moon kick. Pretty much consistently. So, Fumbat said, does there DK, we go. Fumbat said, does DK know what gravity is? Also, no. walls, also walls don't exist. Yeah, so DK walls doesn't know any, any physics or anything that makes sense. Like, what was that physics? Like, you hit a wall and then, what is that? <laughs> what is all, these are like the worst physics ever. Also, yeah, so, uh, walls don't exist. Uh, these, Bee lockers, these like wooden owls, they don't exist. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they exist, sometimes they don't. So, going into this level, it's called Crystal Caves. Going in here, basically, oops. <laughs> basically, oops. <laughs> basically, what going in here does is it allows you to get all of. This is like one of the later levels, I think it's like the second last level. 
So it gives, if I get into here, it gives me access to all of the moves in Cranky's shop. It gives me access to all of the moves that Donkey Kong and all the other Kongs could get. Why do I keep throwing bombs? <laughs> Seriously, can't. Because bombs. Usually this happens on the first time. See you later, Mr. Lewis. What? What was that? Okay, Bombat usually. said, you got this, Justin. Thanks. He also said, why do bananas eat people? That's just what this they, that's how is. That's how you teleport. You get eaten by bananas. I'm so confused. Why does this never work? This only works when I when like I'm not streaming. There we go. Okay, so now going into Crystal Caves, what this does is it gives me all the upgrades. It starts you a cutscene. Yeah, it starts you a cutscene, but like you don't have to watch this cutscene. Basically, once I enter Crystal Caves, it assumes I've been in all the levels from beforehand. So it lets me get it lets me get all the upgrades from before. Nothing can stop me now. Their island is doomed. So basically, King <laughs> K. Roll is trying to destroy Donkey's Island, if you haven't noticed yet. And I'm just skipping through most of the game. Who needs to play the game when you can not? Yeah, it's, it was awful, Master. Those horrible Kongs threw nasty barrels at me. They went bang, knocked me into the lava they did. One of them got really big and punched me in the face. <laughs> Look at my poor old nose. Uh, I don't want to go. To I want to go lie down here. I'm not feeling very well. <laughs> the King K. Rolls just staring. Uh, you are an idiot. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. I'm really afraid if if the streaming rule continues. I'm really afraid of the last glitch. The last glitch you? is hard to do. They say I went in there, I, why'd I leave? Cause as soon as I get in there, now it assumes that I have all the upgrades from Crystal Cave. Walls don't exist. Yeah, well, that, walls don't exist. You'll see that a bunch of times. Uh, like, I'm about to blow my way into this wall with bombs. Oh, this one's really hard. This one, I've actually done it on the second try very consistently. But I'm streaming, so... I don't so. think you know about this, do you? Did you, you didn't explain to him why the moon kick works. Uh, basically, you jump. Oh, that was first try? No way. Wow. Okay, so basically, also bombs create a lot of lag, which messes up collision detection, and that's why I was able to get through that wall. So basically, the way a moon kick works, you jump, you jump, then do that move, and if you do that move and then go right into the... Uh, if you... Yeah, I'll try, I'll do it here. If, I, if you jump, then... If you jump, punch, and then do your kick, if... If the punch and the kick happen like one frame after each other, then you'll basically do the moon kick. Which is why you have to be on a slope in order to do it. That guy's not even guarding it. You should be able to just walk past him. Yeah. Why did he start talking? He starts talking, he's like, you can't get there, you can't get through there. Also, this cutscene should not actually happen because when I go to Crystal Caves, this cut this cutscene is supposed to happen before the one from K Crystal Caves, but for some reason this one's happening after. I've ma I'm I've messed up like the sequence of how things happen. Look at his eyes. <laughs> it's so messed up. Go! I don't accept failure. I've waited too long for this. I won't let those flea-bitten monkeys ruin my plans this time. Why does he have them on the wall? Like, you hate them, but they're in, they're like a pic, you have a picture of them on your wall. Like, who does that? By the way, Fumbat also said that he saw the moon kick to the wall, and that he's always here. Mo yeah, Fumbat's always here. I'm pretty sure he left when he got bored of last stream, I After think. like two hours or something. Yeah, but it's like, this time this is gonna take like an hour and a half, because I can defeat the whole game. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why'd he die? What? <laughs> Not the bees. So you're supposed to. So there's a glitch here. I can do it. Let me try to make words that actually make sense. So oh, fun there's that, a. What's fun about saying? Fun about said that dragon is really big. I don't know how he lives. <laughs> oh yeah. Why'd I jump over that? Thank you. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna just go through this wall over here. I've actually gotten this like really easily before, and then other times this is like impossible for me to do. It took you a kind of a while when you did it here last time. Yeah, uh, we'll see how this works. I have some more practice, sort of, with this. Last time you weren't expecting to be doing glitches here on a live stream. This yeah. time you are. Yeah, look at that. 
<laughs> Look how easy that was. And now I'm out of bounds. Isn't this game great? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I'm just gonna walk out of bounds. See, so you see that door basically on the right of the screen. That door is closed. But I'm just gonna like ignore the fact that the door is closed. <laughs> And what? I never seen that before. What? There's a door. So the door. If you look at it, so you see that Kremlin on the other side. Yeah. If you look at, it, if he's, if he looks at where I am, he'll see a giant wall blocking this. Yeah. There's supposed to be a wall there, but for some reason I'm just looking right through the wall. Normally you don't look through the wall. Oh. Uh, I did that glitch too early, but that's not that big of a deal. I was supposed to, uh, getting like out of bounds and going through that wall. I did that glitch a little bit early. Oh, Are man. you gonna die? Hopefully not, because I have to... Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Whew. Okay, I just healed myself. I wasn't actually supposed to do go through that wall yet, but it doesn't really matter because I can just come back. What's the problem with going through the wall yet? So, I was supposed to actually do another one of those like slam things that gives me five coins. I was supposed to do another one of those, but I did it. I, I didn't do it. Cause I, um, basically, uh, I'm supposed to get some stuff from Cranky's lab, but I forgot to do that. But luckily, now I don't. I went through the wall there. I'm never gonna have to go out of bounds there again. Cause now I can just teleport back and forth. So yeah, um, I went behind that wall right there. Yeah. I went behind that wall. Uh, and so now that I have the two teleport pad, I can just ignore that wall completely for the rest of the game. I was supposed to- this is what I was supposed to do before I went over there. I was supposed to get a few more coins. Can you just always do the ground pound? Uh, you have to actually go to that banana fairy that I went- like when I swam through Well, shores. yeah, but I mean like, is it unlimited now? It's just a permanent ability. It's a permanent ability, but I have to have- I have to have these coconuts. So like, the way to do it is hold down B, and I'm holding B right now. If I have a coconut, so it uses then up it, a it uses yeah, it uses a coconut. One from one. And okay, then it, that's what I meant. Like, yeah. is it just a burning ability, or do you yeah? But you have to you have to like have ammo. Why I guess crystal. Them? The coconut. Well, I only need to do that three times, and I'm gonna have to do that crown, ground pound again. I also need one upgrade from Donkey Kong. From Donkey Kong. I need one update upgrade for Donkey Kong, and oh. then I'm gonna buy basically all of Diddy Kong's upgrades here. So. You wanna read like chat or do something fun? Cause this is gonna Bunch be. Watch a spashium. Oh yeah, so you're supposed to. This what the, what's gonna happen here is I never actually when I did the training barrels I never went back to Chunky's lab to get Simeon's Chunky's slam. Chunky's lab. <laughs> Cranky's lab. I never went back to Cranky's lab, so it's actually gonna give me Simeon's slam and then expect me to not buy anything else, so it just kicks me right out. <laughs> <clears throat> now it takes me and it's like, oh, you've been to Crystal Caves. You can have all the upgrades till Crystal Caves, but I'm only gonna say yes to bear, uh, the barrel blast. Blast, okay. I call it Barrel Blast because it's really Barrel Blast. <laughs> he just throws it away. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do the Moon Kick, but it's just, uh, the Moon Kick, the second Moon Kick that I have to do. Yeah, it took you a while to do that. Yeah, uh, it's pretty much impossible to do the second Moon Kick, so I'm just gonna have to. But you did it. No, well, you didn't. You were trying to for a long time. I was trying to. I'll try for like. A few minutes, like maybe I'll, just, I'll probably try for like 30 seconds, and if I can't do it on my first three tries, I'll just give up. Because that's that's like the hardest thing for me to do. So what I have to do here is I have to buy these. These are all Diddy Kong's moves for the final boss. Chimpy Charge. Actually, I need Chimpy Charge to save Tiny Kong. Then I also need uh, what else do I need? I need uh, I'm rocket not barrel. That question. I need rocket barrel boost to... I'm responding to chat and I'm saying I'm not answering that question. What question? I'm not saying it out loud. Okay. Somebody I don't recognize oh. showed up and said something that I did not want to say out loud. So, Simeon Spring is not the one I was expecting. I was expecting to get Simeon's, uh, the second level of Simeon Slam. But apparently I'm not getting that. Fun bat. You probably shouldn't find out. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go save Lanky Kong. And my phone's going crazy. Can I wow, I have a lot of viewers. If I was since I hadn't live streamed in three weeks, I wouldn't get many viewers. How many viewers do we have? Seven. Eight. Uh, eight? Wow. Eight now, wow. Okay, so this I can do I can try to do a 
Actually, um, on the viewer list, it shows nine names that aren't mine. You have a lot of people watching you. So there's the moon. Yeah, uh, this moon Whoa! Kick is really hard for me to do. Oh, you almost got it. So, but even after I do the moon kick, I have to glitch my way into inside of where Lanky Kong stays. What is the camera doing? <clears throat> and it's really hard to do it. Um. What? So, Why is the camera like this? Because I'm. I did this on purpose. Basically, I'm loading up. <clears throat> this is making lag so that there's less frames, which makes it easier to do a moon kick. But <laughs> yeah, first of all, it's hard to get up there. Even when I get up there, then I have to kick my way to the loading zone that's behind this door, which is basically impossible. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna go and do this, which allows me to get into that door. And when I was practicing yesterday, I was failing this. B I had to do this barrel blast three times, and I was failing it so much. Why? I don't know. But now I think I just did it in one try. And so basically, what this does, it frees the llama. The llama? Yeah. Look, the llama. <laughs> the llama's gonna get free. And then, first of all, he has to travel to where Donkey Kong is, but there's a wall blocking him from getting here. So that's that's one issue. He also poops out a banana, <laughs> and then he also gives me access to get like inside of where uh, where Lanky Kong stays. Why is Lanky Kong in there? Uh, I don't know. This is just where King K. Roll decided to lock all these critters up. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swim in fire lava. <laughs> swim in fire lava? Yes. Uh, this. Pro because I'm on stream, this is probably gonna like take a few tries. I'm probably gonna die a few times, but I'm pretty sure this is faster than like turning this uh, lava into water. So this is actually turning not turning lava into water. Yeah, this is actually that was easy. That usually takes a lot more tries. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get as close to the edge as possible. Then I'm going to shoot this so this thing frees Lanky Kong. And as soon as I shoot, I'm actually going to jump in the lava to die, which skips his cutscene of being free. So Lanky Kong got free. You can hear the gate opening. And you're just. And so I just die. basically. I basically just skipped that whole cutscene. I wonder who. I wonder who else is watching the stream. I, I texted a friend just now to see if he wanted to join. So you just free Lanky Kong. So that's Spring Lanky Kong. You by can dying. see, yeah, basically by dying to skip his cutscene. You can see Lanky Kong here. He is in all of his glory. There you go. Um, <laughs> but I don't want to. There's actually a glitch that. Lanky Kong. There's a glitch that can that I can use to basically skip another cutscene later on. Be, you know, basically, it uses the fact that I have never used Lanky Kong before. So yeah, but I'm also gonna buy the next. I need to buy the next upgrade from Chunky Store using those. Coins. Mr. Blue said nice llama impression. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy Super Simeon Slam right here. Uh, and so that... Uh, I'm half llama. Except my own. So, if I didn't buy this he If I didn't buy Super Simeon Slam here, then Tiny Kong would've tried to buy it when I buy her upgrades later on. And so that's... Then she doesn't have enough coins for all the other upgrades I want her to have. So, that's why I'm gonna buy Simeon Slam here. And now I'm gonna go free Tiny Kong, and then we're gonna go to the next part. Pombat said, I like long arm monkey. Oh, yes. Long arm monkey. That's basically why it's called Lanky Kong, because he's yeah. lanky. <laughs> uh, so, there's actually a glitch here. Basically, I can throw... I can throw bombs over there, and then it makes enough lag for me to actually uh, th just basically go through that wall, but... I don't want to waste my bombs doing that. So I'm just going to open up the door the proper way. And so this... Uh, this is one of the glitches that you you have never seen before. And really? I've, perf I've basically perfected this. Remember how last time... Uh, I was trying to... So you can't just walk through the bar! <laughs> I know. Remember how last time I was trying to... Yeah, you were trying to do this. This, I've basically perfected this. Okay. Like, it's not like... I'm not perfect at it, but I can do it. You didn't really know what you were doing before, you just knew you could do it. It didn't work that time, but yeah, this takes, on average, four tries. Ooh. 
This I'll is... stop looking so that it'll work. <laughs> oh yeah. That one looked like it should have worked. <clears throat> Are you going to fall through the floor? I'm going to basically, <clears throat> by going into first person, it basically freezes Diddy Kong, so if he's falling, usually he gets pu pushed to the side so that he doesn't clip inside the edge. Like, he gets pushed to the side, but instead of getting pushed to the side, he'll be inside of the ledge if I do this on proper timing. Like it should have worked. There we go. So usually you would expect to go through the loading zone by going like behind this door. But you didn't. But I didn't. So then if I just walk straight, this if I just walk out of bounds straight for a while, I will end up over here where Tiny Kong is. And so now, you're supposed to spell out Kong, I'm going to spell it G-K-O-N-G, uh, -G because basically that, uh, that changes the, uh, event listener, which basically, you're supposed to hit a switch that's right beside Tiny Kong's cage, which, um, raises up some little, um, some platforms underneath the ledger, so I'm not supposed to actually be hitting the ledgers from above, I'm supposed, to actually, I'm supposed to actually hit this thing. I'm pretty sure the game will crash if I hit that thing now. Oh. But it raises up the platforms underneath it, and this just saves time so that I don't, don't have to watch the cutscene of raising the platforms. Funbat said the monkey is too nice to leave. What? The monkey's too nice. Oh, because he can't. The, the Because of the bars. He's too nice. He's in bars. He's supposed to be there. I'm just gonna save you. Get what? That's the that never happens. That literally has never happened before in my practice. But there we go. So now, um, remember last time you had to hit the reset button? Remember how I use bombs to blow myself inside of this uh, level? If I try to leave, it'll soft lock. So can you hit the reset button? Why? Because when I entered Angry Aztecs, I had to use bombs to blow myself into the inside of this level and so if I try to leave it'll just it'll just get me stuck inside the wall and just soft lock so I'd have to reset anyway <laughs> so uh, that's what that is so now we're gonna go save Chunky Kong which is gonna use a couple um, yeah it's gonna use a couple uh, glitches that involve me climbing up things that shouldn't be climbed up and uh, doing a moon kick again. Are you going to climb a roller coaster? I'm gonna climb a pipe. <laughs> that sounds really bad, that's not what I meant, but. So, uh, collision detection on slopes is terrible in this game. So, when I did this at home, it basically worked every time. You can actually roll inside of here, and then use the ceiling uh, as uh, your tactic of getting the moon kick. So before I had to do it on slopes, this time I'll jump, hit the ceiling, do my punch, and then do the kick. And that's like the easiest moon kick ever in the whole game. So usually, there's like a little platform that comes up, like right here, which you can jump on that platform and jump up here. But I'm just gonna skip that whole thing. So now we're about to hit territory that you guys have never seen before. And I have a couple glitches that I don't have much practice with, so they're probably not gonna work. But I'm gonna try them. I've gotten one of these glitches to work once, but it's really inconsistent and it'll probably not work. So... Yeah, um... 
Also, uh, I'm gonna keep saying this over and over. There's so many things in this game that don't exist. Uh, there's a door here. This wall doesn't exist. This is, uh, this doorway usually opens up, but it just doesn't exist. You can go right <laughs> through it. <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna have to create lag to get in here. So this... This took you a long time. This is actually one of the easy... This is, like, really easy for me now. Um, so... Uh, this is... Usually, Lanky Kong can get, like, right there. Like, right where I just punch. And then he can, like, throw his arms through the door. But actually, the loading zone for this door is, like further back, so you have to create lag by throwing bombs, and then jump into him. And then you can just throw yourself inside of there. And that one should have worked. That really looked like it worked. That one also looked like it worked. And that didn't work either. Well, I don't have enough bombs to do it again. I'm gonna go collect some bombs. Last time you just reset the thing. Yeah. Come back to that, I remember you doing this. Yeah, that one was like... Usually that takes an average of three tries, but usually I have more bombs. So... Also, like, Kong's the best diver. <laughs> Seriously? Well, he, his dive looks the best. Oh. I would give him a 10 out of 10. <laughs> And so that's enough bombs for me to do that glitch tw two more times. I really hope I can get through here. Give him a 10 and a big turn. If I can't do this in two tries, then you're gonna have to hit the reset button. You can't get those again? Yeah. It's probably just easier to reset. Then I have 10 bombs when you reset the game. I think I have to time my jump into him properly so that I'm like using forward momentum to actually hit him. That one was not timed properly, I didn't even try it anyway. Oh, okay, the one I expected not to work was the one that did work. Okay. But well, Matt said you got this, and then made a heart, a rainbow, and a cupcake. Okay. I knew it. <laughs> a cupcake. This one of them Kongs. Get him! Wall pranks! Oh, catch me if I can! Woohoo! Hey, this kid's quick. What's that thing on his back? What? <laughs> okay, you two morons. Here's your chance. So, um, I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna see if I can do this. So, um, what? Every time you unlock a Kong, uh, Squawk comes down and teaches you like what kind of things the Kong collects. Is Squawk just always there. But if but when you walk past that yellow line there. Chunky's like, hey, help me. So, oh, I didn't work. Yeah, but you can, if I jump inside of that little area, like uh, across that line, then Squawk's gonna like explain it. Well, usually Squawk explains, yeah. Usually Squawk comes down and explains how, like what like the complex. He's like, One bat hey. said I like the small dragon. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this is a glitch that I never use in practice, but I'm gonna try here. You can actually get this guy to push you through this wall. But basically, he can basically punch you through the wall. But, I don't know, sometimes he it doesn't, doesn't know, know where you are. <laughs> yeah, sometimes he doesn't like know that I'm here. <laughs> Come hit me. Dude, hit me. <laughs> Dude. And so another way you can do this is try to blow yourself through. But <laughs> that doesn't work. This, so, that yeah, guy is so dumb. So, basically when I get to this corner, he like doesn't know that I'm here, apparently. <laughs> like look at him, he's trying to headbutt me. But yeah, so... <laughs> Why doesn't he know you're there? Yeah, I don't know, that's the question. Come on. Try to... Try, try me. Try me, bro. Try me, bro. Hit me. Okay, well, yeah, um... Oh, he was about to do it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna die if he does it again. Please. That would've worked. That would've worked if I didn't die. <laughs> so, that that glitch is very inconsistent, and basically every time every time I try it, I've, bas I've successfully done it, 
I've gone through the wall uh, three times, but I've when I got out of bounds, I've only gotten to the right spot once when I went out of bounds. So basically, I'm gonna do this the proper way, the the glitchless way. Why? Because <laughs> it's too it's too much effort to actually do it the proper way. You mean the glitch way? Yeah, the glitch way is the proper way now. Also, uh, ducking makes you take no fall damage. Why? I don't know. Why not? Because they didn't program. Get out of my way. Also, the fastest way to walk with Lanky Kong is actually doing these long jumps. He's actually the slowest Donkey. He's the slowest. Do I was about to say he's the slowest Donkey Kong out of them all. <laughs> he's the slowest Kong out of them all. So, uh, the next glitch is I'm just gonna climb up a pipe, which will let me save Chunky Kong. And so remember last time, I was having so many issues trying to get into the boss area. Uh, this is, there's no issues with that anymore. You're gonna have issues. Because I'm on stream. Yeah. I'm having trouble doing this because I'm on stream. <laughs> what is happening? You're not supposed to slide, dude. <laughs> well, technically you're supposed to slide, but not with my glitches. <laughs> not with your glitches. Come on! What is happening? Hoopla! Come on. Okay, this is really terrible. <laughs> Okay, um, this is getting really annoying. Uh. Lanky, do your thing. Lanky, why aren't you lanking? What? <laughs> Hoopla, what? Hurry up and lank. What is Lank that? your way up. Okay, dude, seriously. This is not supposed to take so much effort. The easy things are harder and the harder things There we go, got him. And that, literally hitting that switch saves Chunky Kong. Usually you're supposed to like use one of uh, Lanky Kong's, um, one of his abilities, but that involves going to Chunky's lab, which is technically Chunky's faster. Chunky's lab to save Chunky. I, that banana, his arm went through the banana as it ate him, as yeah. it consumed him. Uh, also, I'm not gonna even grab that golden banana. I'm gonna complete the game with two bananas consistently. What was that? I You're jumped. Right, Jesse. I just looked on the. I just did a long jump and went backwards. Look at the live the BLJs, stream. dude. Yeah, I did it again. What is this? <laughs> What was that? Um, also, children, if any children are watching, close your eyes. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> this is... This is, uh... Of course no. You. Just, yeah, this is no. Uh, but you have to have Lanky Kong's un instrument to uh, defeat the last boss. Bonbot said use the arm. Yeah, I already used the arm. Of course he has a trombone. Uh -huh. Okay, now get me out of here, I'm done. Don't sell me any more of your poop. <laughs> Don't sell me a s Gatorin. What? Don't oh. sell me a Gatorin. Okay. Alright, no questions. Just uh, go for it. Uh, so now we're gonna do Chunky's- All I have to get upgrades for now is Chunky for his boss fight. Also, that squawk telling me the first things about how to use Chunky. <laughs> uh, and so I, I have to buy Primate Punch and Hunky Chunky. What if you face a metal boss without any of the abilities? I'm pretty sure you'll have- you'll be for- I, I've seen people actually go to the final boss with no Kongs. Doing it that way will allow- it'll basically assume- if you don't have Kongs, it'll give you the Kongs for free with all their upgrades. <laughs> but I am it basically to get the final key. I have to run around out of bounds in the final level to get the the eighth key. 
which is basically impossible for me. Combat said, why is this a thing? What's the thing? I'm not sure which Probably the music shop. Oh, yeah, the, mu the music shop. <laughs> It's probably because sex appeal. And then the squawk. Yes, yeah, squawk is like telling me how to use every Kong at this point. You know what else uh, would also happen? Uh, so I'm about to fight the boss for this level because you have to have key number three and key number eight. The boss in this level gives you key number three. Uh, I fought this boss three times because every time, literally when he died, before I grabbed the key, he, um, basically the game crashed and I had to reset the whole thing. <laughs> so ponytail twirl. That's for the final boss. Uh, then I had what Tiny- What if you don't have these abilities when uh, you're the final boss? It's technically impossible for Tiny Kong to do it without t ponytail twirl. Uh, then monkey port. I'm gonna use the monkey port to get to the final, uh, key, to where the final key is. And then the first upgrade I got was Tiny Monkey, which is uh, an ability I need to fight the final boss. So we're actually getting, we're probably oh, halfway done. Homebat was talking least. about the, yeah. The candy Just, shop. I thought this game was for kids. Uh, it technically is for kids, but I mean, it's for me too. It's for you too? <laughs> what? Wait, that came out wrong. <laughs> 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 okay, um, ignore that I ever said that. <laughs> so, uh, there's also a loading zone, so you see this door. Oh, yeah. You... The loading zone for this door, wait, loading zone for this door goes underneath for like 10 meters, so I'm supposed to give this, I'm supposed to give these dudes 200 bananas, but I'm just gonna go over here and... You were trying to do this with DK the other day. Yeah, uh, this is, Tiny Kong's meant to fight this boss. So Use I'm gonna... DK. No. Use DK. Like last time, use DK. No. Yes. My practice is with Tiny Kong. Tiny Kong's what I'm gonna do it with. There it is. Aw, oh, I thought it was there. Flipping. What? Jesse Weiss? Oh, I thought you were sta- I saw these and I thought those were your feet. I was like, why are you standing on- Why are you standing He's on- He's doing the Lanky Kong. The Lanky Kong? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Well, that one should've worked too. It always should have worked. It'll only work when you don't expect it to work. It's already 309. What? There we go. Got him. I'm just gonna hit the... There we go, that's the loading zone. For some reason the door opens instead of closing. <laughs> Also, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave, which skips the cutscene of uh, the Jack in the Box coming down and being like, yo, what's going on? If I can get this glitch to happen again in 40 seconds, then it's faster to do it this way. That one looked like it worked. Yeah, I was half in there that time. I probably should have just watched the cutscene. <laughs> yeah. I swear you were in at that time. No, I wasn't. How was that not in there? I think I uh, shouldn't have done it that way. I probably should have just stayed in there when I got it. of time though I should just watch the cutscene but there we go now if I get the third key here successfully without dying then that's you good. died a lot of times last time remember yeah I sure did oh yeah also it's better to do it this at this camera angle why didn't you last time 
I don't know. I don't know anything about glitches in this game. And, uh, <laughs> so now I'm about to go to the... Oh, no. That's like... I'm going to probably fail this. Okay, I'm surprised he didn't hit me with that fireball. Come on. Oh, that hit me? What? Okay. How convenient. That was a surprise. Come on. Come to Papa. That thing's creepy. I think that's the point. But Matt said I'm going to go play Lego Bat. Go play Lego Batman. This is Lou said. And from that says, I want to watch the thing. I don't remember this. From that said, he wants to watch the thing because he doesn't remember this. What, this battle? I guess. Yeah, from here on, there's going to be a bunch of new things. Yeah, because this was as far as we got, right? Yeah. And you, it took you for, it was so incredible, so exciting though. Because you were like, up so close, he kept almost crushing you. Yeah, this time I just know how to fight the boss. At the... When I get to the end of this boss fight, I'm gonna be like going diagonally to, do to dodge his attacks. You Where? Couldn't, you couldn't do that as DK. Yeah, I couldn't. It was too far. But this is actually, now that you think about it, this is like. It's probably the hardest boss fight. It's probably the hardest fight in the whole game, aside from the last boss. The last boss is hard. Yeah. But it was easy. He, you have to use all five Kongs. But it was just long, not hard. It's long, but if you die, you have to restart. For, so you go, you, there's phases. So you fight with Donkey Kong, then you fight with uh, Diddy Kong, then you fight with Donkey Kong. I know Kong. how it works, so I just thought it wasn't that hard. But, but I played it, so. if you die, you have to start from the beginning. So if you get to Chunky Kong, and then you die, you have to restart from... Uh, if you die with Chunky Kong, then you have to restart from Ch Chunky Kong's phase. So, like, you'll lose a lot of time. So here's me jumping diagonally. Hopefully I can make the jump. Yep. Because now at this point, in his... His AI, if you... He... So in the first two times He's that not I... not random, he goes straight for you. He goes straight for me. So before, if I... He wouldn't jump backwards. Like, if he was on... Oh, shoot, I missed it. Um, so if... Let's say he's on this white tile. Then he jumps here, then I go to the white tile. Uh, he would not have gone to the white tile. He wouldn't have like gone backwards. So now that now that he's on his third phase where I've hit him three times, now he will go backwards if he if I'm like if I'm back behind him. If that makes sense. And that's why it's fastest to just jump diagonally. And usually I can make the jumps every time, but I was really bad that I failed it. So now he also has this new attack, which is actually easier to dodge than the fireball in my opinion. It's just like, the difficulty behind it is just that you have to, like, not be on the tile with the switch when he hits you. And his invisibility does nothing, because you can still see the sparks behind him. <laughs> So when you were DK, you weren't even very far into the fight. Yeah. I probably hit him like once or twice. At most. And then it was time to go. Oh. Okay. Uh, this is the last phase. I'm just gonna let him hit me. I could technically run over to, the, to that switch and hit it. But I'm gonna be safe and do it this way. So that's pretty good. That was, that, that was pretty good for the boss fight, time-wise. I only fell off once. It took so long, though. It took so long to fight <laughs> twice. I know. Oh, I fell twice? I didn't even remember, I don't remember the second time. Come on, hit the key. The game's gonna crash. Nope. Okay, now, the next part of the game, this glitch can happen on my first try, or my 15th try. Sometimes or even your eighth try. Or your it could be even fifty t tries. But so, from here on, you haven't seen any of this. So, yeah. um, first of all, I'm gonna glitch into the lobby of the final level, 
Then I'm going to glitch into the actual final level itself. Then I'm going to glitch out of bounds to where the final key is. When did this get here? When did what get where? This island. It comes here when uh, when K. Roll decides to take your your base. So Monkey Port lets me do this. Then what I have to do is jump from leg. here. That was a lot of leg. I have to jump from here, go over here, go up that slope, and then fall. Basically glitch inside of the loading zone. This can take. This can take 10 minutes, or 2 minutes. Or an hour. Or an hour, if I'm that bad. But what is this? Something about this feels different from when I was practicing it at home. There's lag. There's lag, but not only that. It's like there's... It's like the hitbox for this, for this area is a little bit bigger. There we go. If I can manage to do this. Come on. I don't think I can do it. Why not? Like, basically, when when you slip, set it, it, basically when you start slipping off of a slope, the moment you start slipping, it forcefully makes the Kong get into a slipping mode until uh, you get off the slope, which kind of sucks. Funbat said, you're not bad, you got it, I believe. Thanks, Funbat. But what is happening? Why is the point? First of all, the ponytail twirl feels like it's lasting for such a little amount of time. What is, what is this? What? Okay. Yeah, this is like the hardest glitch to do, but once I... Once I get in to the last level, all of the funniest glitches happen in there. Like, I go on top of a computer terminal and then pull myself out of bounds by jumping and like, basically gl grabbing the terminal as if it was a cliff. I would like it's to not see a cliff? that. I would no. like to see that. I would like to see it too. Come on. Nope. This is, like, the most difficult thing to do. And then once I... Once I get up there, then... When I glitch inside of the loading zone, I have to, like, hit the loading zone. And if I don't hit the loading zone, I'll start falling completely off this whole area. For some reason, this feels different on this N64. I don't know why. Okay. She was like shivering when no. I was... What was that? You were on the corner. Come on. Come on. That was pretty good. No. If I can manage to... Basically when I get up there, I want to do one of those, which pu uh, pushes me right up on top. That one was probably executed wrong. Actually, oh, that was close. Yeah, this is probably going to be one of those 10, 15 minute attempts. That's okay. What? Okay, sometimes I feel like there's a barrier on this wall, and sometimes I feel like there's not. <laughs> okay. Maybe there is a way nice there. we can see the invisible wall. Yeah, we can't. There's some things. Literally, there's some things in these games that are there but don't look like they're there, and then there's other things that aren't there that that look like they are there. I'll let you guys know if I manage to get the glitch because this is like so inconsistent. Come on. There's literally no other way to do this. So, 
I have to manage to get it to work this way. You will accordingly. Usually it's not getting up here that's the hard part. What? Sure, blame the fact that I'm streaming this. Come on. It's all the pressure, man. <laughs> uh. Oh, what? That didn't even work. That should have. That one should have worked. It should have at least done the kick. She's not sliding. She's not doing the clip. She's not doing the kick. She's literally, literally refusing to do that kick. There we go. We're sliding up it. Keep on sliding. Come on, keep going, keep going, don't stop. Don't stop, don't stop. Don't Just... stop believing. That one was so close. Ugh. Palms are sweating. <laughs> Knees weak. Um, uh, mom, wait, what is this song? Knees weak, mom's spaghetti. Knees weak, arms are heavy, mom's spaghetti. Or something like that, huh? Better, right? Yeah, it's slowly starting to work better. So I'm getting used to like the lag and the remote and the gear system. Whatever the issues are. What? I didn't even land on it that time. <laughs> this is it's looking like this isn't possible, but this is possible. It's oh. just taking a lot of effort. I believe you. You wouldn't be doing it like this if it were. Come on, she's supposed to like slide all the way up with that kick. There we go. Finally. Wow. Now I have to go through this wall. Sterling, Sterling, you might want to look at this now. I've finally gotten up. Now I have to oh. basically go through this wall. And then go find the loading zone. Please land in the loading oh, zone. Oh, that said, do stop unbelieving. Oh, yes, I got you it. did it. Okay, now. Go. Go, now go back out. No. <laughs> okay, so basically you're supposed to like go over this lava, go over there, then you have to have a hundred bananas to do that. I'm just gonna ignore the whole hundred banana thing and just uh, just jump through this wall. <laughs> just jump through. Just jump through. Wow. I know. And then walk around the lava. If you go too far out of bounds, it actually like pulls you back to the entrance. Which sucks. And then... Hit the loading zone. There we go. Final level. Enter complete. <laughs> what is that King K rule? What? He's sleeping. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Yeah, so this is- I'm literally oh! in- I'm literally in where he dwells. <laughs> it's the Kongs! Wake up, you fools, and activate the machine! So they're basically gonna try to shoot a laser that destroys the island. Wake up, you sooner. fools! Uh, they're trying to set it up, but for some reason it's not ready. Oh. It's not fully tested! It might explode and destroy us all! Don't tell me what I can't do! <laughs> Can you- Please! Master, just to give us a few more hours. No, the time has come. Goodbye, DK Isles. So it's gonna this get. This guy's insane. Yeah, it's gonna give. Sorry. So, Snagit HQ, 
You give this guy <laughs> throughout the game. You give this guy blueprints, and then with those blueprints, uh, depending on how many blueprints you have, you have a certain amount of time to defeat this. Fastest you can do it normally without glitching is 13 minutes. I have 10 minutes to do it with glitches. So first thing I have to manage to do is to that, which was actually really good, because considering how long it took me to do that yeah. other glitch. Then Chunky Kong is the one ha who has all the fun in this level. Well, I don't have any bombs. What? Please leave me alone. I don't have any bombs. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore that guy. Hopefully. No! Get out of my way! Dude. There we go, I got it. So... That let's... wall literally just slides through the ground. Yeah. No sign of it ever having existed. Um, so if I hit this lava, I literally just die and go back to the start of the level. Uh, this guy... So basically now I have to walk forward perfectly without turning left or right. And at the last second, turn my camera a little bit, aim this properly, jump, spin, and okay, that almost worked. I don't think it's going to work now. Jump, spin, pull myself out of bounds. Work, that works. Yep. Uh, now, uh, I basically just have to walk straight from here. Hey, you don't exist. Now the world doesn't exist. And once Chunky Kong disappears... See, there we go. He disappeared. Yep, so this is where I want to be, right underneath here. And I know that I'm doing it right if that's there. And now, this is... Uh, so basically what you have to do is do a bunch of mini games to turn off their machine. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to walk... Or you could just... <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to walk around this whole place. So I'm basically navigating around this place out of bounds. That works. And right about here, I turn left, and walk, right. yep, yeah. I always get left and right mixed up, uh oh, should have been there by now, uh oh, I was walking in circles, <laughs> turn left, That's walk, right. turn right, walk straight, wait for it, hopefully, there we go, oh, I went a little bit too far. Turned a little bit too far to the right. Hey, you got it right this time. Okay. And yeah, I have to jump back inbounds, but I went way too far on this journey. Where even am I? You're in his room. Yeah, I know where I am, but sort of not. I also sort of don't know where I am. What? Oh, no. No. Where are you? I sent. I was sent back to the beginning. And I don't have enough time. No. Wait. Oh, I have to do all the glitches again. Because I missed the proper spot. Oof. Big oof. I... Well, that... Well, earlier... Earlier he said, yeah, Rainbow Rainbow Cupcake. Okay. But now he says, you should be a voice oh, actor, Justin. <laughs> so we've only been doing this for an hour and 12 minutes. So it's close in to my end time. That's in game time, I guess. I think, I mean, hopefully I should be able to do this easily again. I think it's been an hour and a half. <laughs> That's pretty funny. We're leaving in a bit over an hour. Yeah. I'll be done this. Can you get me like a Sprite or an orange juice or something? Thanks. Like the rain. That was the first <laughs> attempt. Maybe it's Jesse's fault. Yeah, Jesse left, and now I did it in the first try. Totally. Oh, I was so close to not hitting that loading zone. Wow, you d it took you like a thousand tries before. Why don't you hit that one? I did hit the one. Oh, why didn't you just use it last time then? Uh, 
Well, the one doesn't really go anywhere. Like, that one is not, like, part of DKLs. Like, I can't... I have to actually glitch into here again to do this properly. No, I just meant, like, when you were in the timing section. You can't use the one to get out. Oh. What? Okay. Um, yeah, I can't use the one to get out. Basically... Uh, when I enter here, there's basically a wall blocking me from getting out. Oh, okay, so you have to do it first try. Yeah. And I'm not- I'm really surprised that I, m like, messed up that bad. But... It doesn't seem like an easy thing to do. Yeah. You forgot to turn this cutscene off. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't do it again. I've already- I've already done that cutscene. gotten back in. Nice. He did it on his first try. Yeah. Is that orange juice for me? Yes. Okay, I'll take it now and just chug the whole thing. What? How did I enter the... Okay. Pause the game. Okay. Yeah, da, 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 three, three, three. That was interesting. What was? I just chugged the whole thing. Chug it! Okay. Let's walls hope I don't actually... exist. Wall uh, floors don't exist, and walls just go into the floor. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. Please, you're in my way. Fine, I'm gonna walk right by you. He pushed you. Yeah, I think he did. I'm not sure if that actually stops this from working. Might that I might actually stop this from working. Nope. Okay, now this time, let's hope I actually do this properly. Okay, so, line myself up, go perfectly straight. Uh, yep, that's basically where I want to be. Keep moving. Oh, I almost just entered back inbounds, which means I would have had to start the thing over again. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> okay. Hopefully I actually do this properly. Yeah, don't you dare make a mistake. Pardon me. Mistake. Please, what is happening? This camera is so glitched. Yeah, Why? it's almost like you're not supposed to be out of bounds. Yeah, maybe that's it. Please, please tell me I did it. Please. Yes, that's where I want to be. Thank you. Jumped right back in bounds. And now, basically the rest of this is pretty easy. And I'm also going to hit this number one, which means if I ever fail again, I don't have to go out of bounds that whole thing again. So fun fact is Chunky is actually pretty skinny. You can actually, like, Chunky's just a skinny dude. <laughs> exactly. Oh. I wasn't supposed to get back inbounds. I hope that, like, doesn't mess anything up. There might be another way. Uh, is there another way out of bounds over here, anywhere? Uh, there might be a few ways. Are you inventing a way to get out of bounds? Sort of. What? Oh. Okay. Yeah, so that's the key that I need. So... You were supposed to just go around this room? Yeah. It's supposed to be actually underneath this room. But at least I hit the number one, so if I have to redo this glitch again... Can I get to this wall? Can I get... No? Is that no, a double-sided wall. Dang it. There's two sides to that wall. How could anyone have guessed? <laughs> You just have to try to get out of bounds by magic. 
Yeah, I was Hey, this game's pretty broken, so maybe. Yeah, um... I'm gonna have to try this again. But this time I have the one. I have the number one to telepad from. Yep. I really hope I don't fail a third time. Because once I've never failed, I've never gotten back inbounds by accident in that way. Uh, you're excused. That was, that was not. That was the orange juice. Dude, there's a microphone right next to you. Yeah. You just We've... chugged a large glass of orange juice. <laughs> yeah. So. I want to get. He's completed the game 1%. Yeah. I'm gonna complete the game by beating the final boss. That is how you complete games usually. But yeah, so um... If I can just get inside of that... So the final level that I was just navigating out of bounds from is called Hideout Helm. So if I can get just back in Hideout Helm, I can hit the number one pad and then... Win. Get the other key. Hit the win button. Yeah. Uh, now, there is actually a glitch that can happen with the key called Fake Key. You can <laughs> probably guess what that means. The key is there, but it doesn't actually exist. He first a lot it. of things don't exist in this game. He first tried it again. <laughs> yep, I did first try it. Wow, so it wasn't Jesse. Yeah. We were blaming you for the reason why I couldn't actually get it to work. That's such like a messed up glitch. Like, how do they miss that? How do they miss the fact you can just jump out of that wall? Okay. Uh, now that I'm in, I should just be able to enter here, hit the one pad. Now I'm not gonna use Chunky Kong to get the key. I'm just gonna go teleport over there. And this time, I'm just gonna s go out of bounds and stay out of bounds. I use technology to break the technology. Now I'm gonna walk straight a little bit before I turn. There we go. Now I'm underneath the pathway. That's what I wanted to see. Just walking out of bounds. Underneath. Just walking up a staircase out of bounds. <laughs> yep. Walking around out of bounds. Best thing ever. Now you have to go through that door for the fake key glitch to have a less chance of happening. Then look at the key for a minute and hopefully fake key doesn't happen. Which it didn't. Well, so the way you know that fake key didn't happen, so now I can actually leave, now I have the key. So... How many game overs? <laughs> you have to hit game over a bunch of times for this. So now, we can actually hit the final, we can get to the final boss. So that, getting the key is the whole point of going into that level, and I finally got it after three failed attempts. Oh. So, the way I know that fake key happened oh, was... Oh, that said nothing is real in this game. <laughs> nothing is real. Uh, so the way I know that fake key didn't happen is if I'm gonna go give these keys to K Lumsy to try to open up his cage. And so if I get key three before key eight, then I got fake key. If I hit if key eight goes in before key three, then it means that I actually got key eight. And the verdict is I it was not fake key. Okay, so now what makes it fake key? Somehow it just doesn't load the key. I'm pretty sure that the way people found out that basically the way the key fake key doesn't happen is that door that blocked me when I when so when I failed the second time. Yeah. The the door that blocked me, you're supposed to actually go through the door. So the theory is that uh, by not going through the door and instead by going into that room with the key out of bounds, it doesn't load the key properly. So by getting key 3 and key 8... But then why sometimes? I don't know, it's just completely random. By getting through key 3 and key 8, the final boss area is just here. Hey, the game here. has a proper frame right now! Uh, yeah, so that this, this is usually a cutscene for that final boss thing to appear, but since I just handed in key 3 and key 8, every time you load DK Isles, it checks for key 3 and key 8, and if they're both there, then it just loads that ship into the place. And then why just only 3? I don't know. It just assumes you have. I don't Did know. Did you see how it's spelled, ladies? Yeah. There's like. A, what? How was it? 
Look I at that crowd. Wait. Look at that great crowd. That crowd? <laughs> it was of circles. L A D Y Y Y Y I E S. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Lady eyes. <laughs> Lady eyes. Just killed the announcer. Okay. Oh, so oh, oh, oh. this guy's dead now, basically trying to flop or flop his way out of there. So, um, this final boss fight looks really exciting, and all I do is basically for half the boss fight, I'm just sitting watching cutscenes. No, well, yeah, watching cutscenes, but then for half the boss fight, I'm also just like. When I'm actually fighting in the, in the boss fight, I'm just, like, sitting there doing nothing. Yeah. Literally, okay, so you'll see what I mean. So, K -Roll is, uh, King K. Roll is gonna start doing ground pound, and instead of jumping over them to dodge them, I'm just gonna, like, climb this little, whatever this thing is, this, I don't know, whatever this is, and I'm just gonna avoid them by doing that. Wow. Can you leave the ring? No, I don't think so. And then... I basically have this memorized. One, two, three. Wait. <laughs> I thought I had this memorized. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And the next one is... I don't remember, actually. I think it's like... I think it's either three or four. One, two, three, four. No, I think it's... It's probably five, then. Oops. <laughs> that time, I just hit the button accidentally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, there's a time limit? You have to count how many times. Yeah, there's a time limit for each round. He's already gotten to yeah, the final this, boss. Yeah, this whole time I've been just getting to the final boss. He's been doing glitches. Saved by the bell. So he speedrunned it. Yeah, sort but of. I had a bunch of fail, failed glitches. Fun bet said, look at the dragon. What dragon? King K. Not oh. King K. Rool, it's the little dragon, I think. That was his head or something. Oh, uh, this, he uses his glove as a boomerang. Oh, wow, did it go Where That is skill. I don't Where? know how he can do that, but that's skill. Dude. That, that's just broke physics. This whole game is broke physics. What? Get, get inside of the barrel. Thank you. And now you basically just bang him on the head with these lights. Makes sense. And I'm probably gonna run out of health by that time. Because he literally boomerangs his glove. He boomerangs his glove right up to where you are. What? Oh. I was trying to find the target, but it wasn't in the manual. Yeah, you have unlimited fuel and unlimited shots, just for this. So this is Final Smash, sort of. There it is. Yeah, so I have to do this poor man. Are there any glitches in the final boss fight? You can actually throw, you can actually just, um, for Diddy Kong's fight, doing this, there's actually a way to throw, you can actually like, if you aim it properly, you can get your, yeah, like right, just like that, you can get your, your, uh, peanuts to go through the, the light, and then hit both targets from one side. Oops, I did not mean, that's so dumb, you shouldn't be able to land on there. But yeah, you can actually, so you can kind of like hit. Why is he standing from one underneath side. it? I don't understand. I don't know, he literally puts himself in perfect position to do this. <laughs> and these guys are like, asleep. Saved by the bell. Again. Eventually they break the bell and it doesn't even work. I know. <laughs> Wanky Kong! Oh, 
Donkey Kong. And he actually uses his lankiness to uh, do the bo uh, the final boss fight. For some reason, they didn't get that thing off of his head. <laughs> so he's just running around blind. Did you just shoot your arm out of the wall? Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Hit the button, then that thing comes up, grab the barrel, grab the barrel, and then throw the barrel in the middle of the arena. Then when he's in the correct position, you throw, oh yeah, yeah, perfect. You play your instrument and he's like, oh, he's over there and then tries to go to you. Then you have to make him, you have to put his path right in, like you have to put his path in line with the banana and then he slips on the banana. You have to do that four times. Okay. This is one of the longest five bosses ever. He already did it. Yeah, Donkey Kong already did his. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Shooting himself out of barrels. Into his face. No! Come back! This is the last four fight then? This is the third. Fun bat said long arm. Yeah. I'm the long arm of the law! I'm yeah, just the long like arms. Mm. You can't tell Kevin likes Lanky Kong. Mm. Uh, he's not gonna hit the banana this time. Unless he. Yep, okay, that was I really close. Cool. He's that off, he's that stupid. He's that much bigger, so. He's that much of a missile? What? <laughs> He's a missile? Look at that crowd. I know, the crowd looks so, like, messed up. Okay. He's in line, right there. And that's the end of this portion of the fight. The banana didn't even move! <laughs> Pathetic oh yeah, watch this. <laughs> this guy is so dumb. <laughs> How did he get the first three off? He just grabbed it and pulled it off. This he time, do now. I don't know what he did. Uh, uh. Oh, heave, oh, heave, oh, heave, oh. What is this? Ah, don't show me. Oof. Everyone gets flattened. This game is low key actually in 2D. <laughs> They're all just there, dead. <laughs> and then they disappear. It's like someone just came in and swept them off the battlefield. Okay, we're done watching you. Uh, oh yeah, King K rolls in the next Smash. Smash. Are you happy? Yes. I never even like played Donkey Kong other than this game. Uh, just kind of sit here. You're supposed to use this, the Tiny Kong's ponytail twirl to avoid those attacks. Are you kidding me? Where's the thing? It's supposed to be a barrel for me to go inside of. You're supposed to dodge those attacks by doing that? He has these giant gloves, but he doesn't actually try to hit you with them. He hit, tried to hit Diddy Kong, now he's switching up his strategy. Oh yeah, it's his first time using Tiny Barrel, so Squawk, Squawk tried to show up. Squawk tried to come and be like, yo, this is how you do it. And now you just have to shoot him in the foot. And you have infinite ammo. And so that's basically the this part of the boss fight. You, you, you hit each of his toes. Yeah, this is like it's so random. Like there's a part of the game that's literally a mini game about burping. What? Yeah. Like literally, it's like they use they take an xylophone and make it so that its whole purpose is it, the, the sound that comes out is burps. So they have like all the different like instrument 
keys for burping sound. It's like burr, 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 burr. Combat said that combat said that banana has skill. I think he means in the Lanky Hawk part. Yeah. The banana has skill. Oh yeah. This is just the final fight. How's he even like? It's like he he's just sitting there waiting for like, like what's going on outside of the battle? Do people just see him sitting there trying to move his feet? Like, like the whole crowd's like, what are you doing? <clears throat> trying to move his toes. I'm waiting for one more ground pound. And I'm gonna go over there. Well designed game. I know. Bad game design. There's a video on that of yeah, YouTube. I, I watched that video. Like, this is such intense music in the background, and then you're just you're there. You're dodging toes. <laughs> you're dodging toes. <laughs> this is toe fun. <laughs> uh, and now he has, does five ground pounds. Hurts his butt again. I'm literally not even holding the remote at this point. <laughs> it's like they just gave up. What is like? Oh, was that five? Yeah, I wasn't counting. That was four. That was, it looked like four to me. Okay. A whole like little cutscene meant for you to go inside of Toes. Yeah, this is the longest boss fight in the game in history. Like, when people- the world records, half of their game time is them doing the boss fight. Yeah! <laughs> So really, in order to beat to do the PK64 fast, you have to become the best in the world at this boss fight. Yeah. Which is hardly even a fight. Oops. You got hit. I love that I have infinite ammo. I love how he goes unconscious from his toes being shot. Yeah. Like, legit, how? I mean, it might be a combination of like hitting, he was okay hitting with his butt. Three lamps fall on his head before getting up there. <laughs> Saved by the bell. Okay, last phase of the fight, and so, oh yeah, they broke the bell, so now they're like doing it makeshiftly. Oh yeah, and this is like probably the funnest boss fight out of them all. Like, uh, uh, you're actually like, doing a fight. Like this is probably no, this is probably like the most fun. Uh, battle out of the three phases. I'm pretty sure I didn't get the upgrade for this. But it doesn't matter. I might have. I don't think I did. And literally the goal of this is to just punch him in the face. What? Oof. Minus only one watermelon. That's... <laughs> Um, this time is just a faster version of last time. 
which is actually easier for me. Yeah. Because I'm very impatient. <laughs> Thank you! You were hitting me. He gets hit in the face and is like, yeah, bring it on! What the heck is this? What? What's what? Happening? I don't even know. Why are you invisible? Uh, because of the little power up thing that I hit. Why is he invisible? I don't know. He turned invisible when he, like, I don't know. I don't know how, like, why wasn't he, why wasn't he turning himself invisible before this fight? Like, he could have used this in all the other phases. It's like they didn't care. They're like, he just okay, crushed how do we make me. this harder? Oh, uh, let's just make him invisible. I didn't hit that power. Okay. What? Stop hitting me! Yes, stupid K roll. Ah. Uh, and we're about to. Say, if I was live streaming, or if I was speed running, I'd, I'd say. Right here. Time is now. I can tell you how long it took you. You could? Yeah. Well, you weren't really speed running. I wasn't like doing it. Holy speed running. You went like trying as hard like, as you I would have practiced using I would have practiced using your system. And uh, I'm gonna go to the washroom now. Just be careful. Uh, tell your kids to cover their eyes for this next part. This is the next part is really inappropriate. Tiny starts dancing. Oh, what's her name? Candy. Candy. Shop. Perfect. Oh. Nice JPEG. Did the game freeze? Or is it supposed to be doing this? I don't think so. I don't know! We'll wait till he gets here, he can tell us. <laughs> Just look at that picture. <laughs> look at it. Just... Poor. He may have been saved by the bell, but who is going to save the bell? <laughs> oh, is there someone out there? Yeah, Liam is here. I forgot about that. On screen saying that. How are you doing? Hello. Yeah, I don't think this is supposed to be happening. Unless you're supposed to press start or something. But we'll wait. Rip. Rest in peace, King K rule. That was a See, brutal is that, fight! Is that the flashing music? Yeah. So, did the game break? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, on the best picture ever. <laughs> Someone take a screenshot. <laughs> but why do we still have music in the background? <laughs> what? Okay. Well, uh, after the boss fight, like the stuff that happens after is the best part. <clears throat> okay, hit the reset button, I'm gonna show you a few other glitches. And then we can like go do something on another system. So the live stream probably has like five, ten minutes left. Okay, I'm just saving a screenshot. <laughs> okay, enjoy this picture. That should be, that should just be my Joystick Justin photo from now on. Yes! <laughs> I'm known for Donkey Kong 64. You know yourself for Donkey Kong 64. I say, I saved the picture as okay. Rip K. Rule. <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how, uh... King K. Rule, more like King K. Drool, uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, so, um, uh, well, the first glitch I'm going to show you is the fact that the boulders don't actually weigh that much. With relative ease. Relative to what? Relative to nothing. They literally weigh nothing. Wow. I will show you. Okay. Here we go. So... There's a full. There's two boulders over here. I'm gonna show you how heavy these things really. Are. That, wait, wait, wait! Turn to the side. How's he holding that? 
<laughs> oh yeah. How's he holding that now? Because it doesn't weigh anything. Still, even if something weighs no, almost it nothing, weigh, it would... no, it weighs nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> then it would just be floating around randomly. The data it it literally, it, it, it literally can. Yeah. Float Actually, no, it would float up. I wonder if you could put it down so precariously. If it weighed it nothing, it would float up. It can. He can. If I drop it here, and then pick that one up. Okay. Um. What? <laughs> uh, what? Away. Oh, okay, I'll show you how light this thing really is. It can float down very nicely. Suicide. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you fell and they exploded. <laughs> Does the boulders respawn? Uh, yeah, I'll just make them respawn real quickly by going in and out. Okay, let's try that again. I'm just gonna drop a boulder off the cliff. And we'll see how slowly it falls. Um, I'll do it behind here, because that's probably the easiest way to show it. Here we go. Can pick up a boulder with relative ease. It's really not that heavy. <laughs> As it just gracefully literally just drops. gracefully descends down the mountain. I'm pretty sure when I jump off of here now, that boulder will still be there. Um, okay, let, let's just, uh, wait, okay, I'm gonna drop this off and I wanna see, does, do the boulders, like, stay there at the bottom or do they just, take a look at how much the, uh, Sterling, take a look at how much these actually weigh. <laughs> oh, so slow. Okay, I want to see. If I stack one on top of the other, then can I grab the bottom one? Nope. Can I grab the bottom one? Right from the other side. I'm gonna try to place this. Do your trick of holding B from a distance. Oh yeah, I might. That might. Grab work. from the other side. Come on. What? What? Is it not even- does it not exist? What- what happens if I try to blow it up? Remember, think- remember What? Boulders- remember, nothing exists in this game. Oh yeah, that's right. I almost forgot. Why didn't it float? Why did it explode underwater? Why is this thing- why doesn't this one exist? Okay, now it exists. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, yeah, so... Let me try it. There's one more boulder glitch and then... Do we... you have a different version of the game than I do? I'm not sure. That... I've never actually tried that. I've just seen it happen on YouTube videos. Oh, okay. I was gonna show this on a live stream. So, let me... Let me try the other glitch. Which is... Wait, I have to like reload the boulders. Well, that said it's rest in pie. Sure. You named the screenshot Rest in Peace. It was, it was rip, rip K rule. Rip in pie. Okay, if I'm gonna grab this to see if there was a glitch that I saw where it can do synchronized swim swimming with a boulder. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. How is that, that possible? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> I it's not working. You shouldn't have let go of the boulder. I didn't let go of it, it forcefully let go of it. Oh. So you still let go of it, you just didn't choose to. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Uh, yes, I'm not sure how you do that glitch. Uh, unless... What else is there? How else... How else can I do that glitch? Wait, uh... You came here not prepared to do how to do this glitch. Yeah, uh, there's one more... One last glitch that involves... Moon hits. A lot. Yay! 
Yeah, this is impossible to do though. <laughs> Trying to moon kick off this leg. Yeah. Lag. exactly what you're supposed to be doing yeah so if I can moon kick then I can get on top of here and then I can actually enter the one of the levels but now nah, I'm not gonna do it so basically that's all there is to this game pretty glitchy I'm gonna wait I think I want to show this thing I'm just gonna swim through shores and then I want to see if I can find this so I've you heard... literally do that on any shore. Yes, I've heard of this place. Nice camera. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> there we go, okay. So, there's some place under here uh, with... Okay. Are you not drowning? No. Because you're out of bounds? Well, there's no drowning in this game. Oh. I'm pretty sure- where is You this? didn't know? The Kongs don't actually need to breathe. Oh. Uh, that explains a lot. There is... some place... Maybe they're half a Nebo like Kirby. Um, okay, so basically there's a place underwater somewhere around here that's used for just cutscenes. It's used in one cutscene, and that's the reason why it exists. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, hey, you can walk! Did you know that would happen? I sort of knew that that's possible, but I'd never done it. So, I can't find this place. Where's this place? Okay. Now you're walking. <laughs> Glitches by accident. Oh, oh. you're shooting again. Okay, alright. Now it's blue. Oh, okay. Nope, you're on the ground again. Okay. Oh, nope, you're okay. shrooming again. Uh, uh, okay, okay. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, okay, oh, okay, what? Um, What's happening? I don't know. What's that? You're invisible. What is happening? What is happening? There's literally, a wall in way. there's wall. literally, there's a wall in my way. Wall oh, there it is. I found it. This place, I'm not sure how I managed to get here, <laughs> but this place is used only for cutscenes. That's its only purpose, literally. What is, what is this cutscene? What is this for? What is um, cutscene? Let me, I, um, and why is there collision in here? Yeah, that's another issue. Why is there collision in here? Um, but I'm pretty sure this cutscene is used... For which one is it? It's probably for when they are in the in the intro cutscene. It's probably for when. Fun fact: Kevin is not here. It's probably sorry. They probably use this cutscene for um when in the intro story when they are when uh, K. Roll is coming with his ship. Oh uh, right. They probably use this to like show someone one of the Kremlings controlling the ship. I also wonder what happens if I go this way. Have you ever tried it? Yeah, um, I'm think I think I'm stuck in here now. So yeah, this is glitchy Donkey Kong 64, and that's basically it. There's nothing more to live stream now. What? Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's the escape hatch. That's how you get out. What? Okay, I thought I, I was gonna say I should be underwater now. Yeah. What? Am I stuck? What? Hey, look, a hatch there ahead of you. Oh. Okay, there we go. So that's Donkey Kong 64. I just completed the whole game. But we didn't see the the end cutscene. Like, that's the best part. Like, like after you defeat K. Roll, the whole thing of, like, the island being saved, that's the best part. But that's interesting. So that's the end of the live stream. We can end now. Yay. Thanks for coming, you eight people, whoever you are. Uh, it went down to two. Oh, who else is left? 
Why did people leave? They probably left when I was trying to glitch my way into the... No, uh, it's the... not two. It's seven. Why does the number say two? Which is so stupid. I always go on what the number says rather than what it shows in the uh, thing because... Combat said, bye, have a good day, don't let boredom bite. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think we'll do more. Probably. Yeah. Okay. We have a lot of stuff to do later. See you later, yeah, guys.